Hello everybody. But I went on holiday to Cornwall. Um and then when we got back I was really busy doing college things because I had my interview the day after we got back. Um so we came back on the Wednesday, I had my interview on Thursday and then we had loads of work, textbook stuff. And because the induction day for college was on Friday, it is now Sunday. So yeah, and my first proper day at college is tomorrow. So I was doing a lot of work. So I apologise for the lack of videos. Um, the other thing is I apologise. No makeup face. It's Sunday. I'm probably gonna let my skin cover. I don't know if you can see, but this part of my face is a little better. But down here, the breakup thing. Um, yeah, but today is my August slash summer favourite. Um, because summer is coming to an end. I mean, we've got some nice weather now, but after this week it'll probably start getting cooler and stuff. So I'm just going to go ahead and jump into the... Um, I'm going to start off with random favourites. Sorry, I'm like spinning on the chair. Um, the first random favourite I have is a, is a book called Room. Now, I've read a lot this summer. I've probably read like 30 books. Well, maybe not 30, but 20 books. Um, which is a lot, because considering I haven't been able to read during the year because, um, GGSEs and, um, just being really busy with that, then I've really just been keep catching, catching up on my reading. And this is the book I read, Room, uh, by Emma Donahue, I want to say. Um, I think... It's an American book, um, but it's a really, really amazing book. I had a really hard time choosing because I read a lot of good books, um, but this is one that I really, really did enjoy reading, and I just wanted to read the whole of it. My sister said it was sad when she read it, but to me it really wasn't sad at all. Um, it's just a good book. Not sad, but good book. I also have a person favourite on YouTube, which is my friend Lizzie. Lizzie, not Lizzie, Lizzie. Um, she has a music channel called Soprano Mezzo Alto, I think. I'll link it in the down bar. She does usually original songs and she hasn't got as much subscribers as she should have. Definitely go and check her out. Um, they're not a lot of people on YouTube like have recording systems and they record and they're professional dance. But she just sits there playing her guitar. And it's really nice. It's just an average kind of camera. Um and they're really good videos, so I would seriously recommend checking her out. Now, another favourite. I've got four feet T V shows to share with you guys. Um the first television programme is, the first three, sorry, are comedy. Um, and they're all on, all of these programmes on BBC, the Vexed, which I've been really enjoying watching, Bad Education, and, oh, In With The Flins, there we go. Um, they're quite different, I think. Um, one of them is about, Vexed is about two detectives, which they have to find out who's dead, and it's sarcastic humour, I would say. So it's not scary, <laughs> which is surprising because when as soon as I knew it was about the test, I was going to be scary. But it's actually really good. It's really funny. I don't even remember how I like decided to try out this program or come across it. Um, it's really funny. It's just like the typical douche man, basically, and then the typical you know woman that's like. I'm going to work hard, you know. I just feel like it's more like a douche man who annoys those girls who want to work, who want to, you know, actually do this right and properly and, yeah. And they're, like, together and they just get really annoyed at each other. It's really funny. And then Bad Education is set in the school. Um, it's got Jack Whitehall in it, who plays Alfie Wickers. Um, it's just funny. Um... Like, there was one episode where they came bit obsessed with, like, this violent television programme game, and it's really funny, because it's 
the teachers the, the schools got a mixture of like really strict teachers and then really bad teachers who are not strict at all and it, it's just so funny yeah it just it's hilarious and if you ever been to an English school secondary school um, and you've studied there probably not the younger but like if you're in year 10 or year 11 or do you all find that really funny um, and in with the friends it's just like a normal family there's a, like a really grumpy granddad in there's the two parents and then there's like the teenager and the two sons and it's really funny um, I just recommend checking them all out on BBC iPlayer and then the last program I've been enjoying is Waterloo Road and I'm not going to say any more about that because most people in the UK who can get that know about it it's just a soap set in the school um, and it's just an amazing soap but I like it because it's not like the other ones so yeah so those are my TV show those are my random favourites even um, and now I'm just going to get on to my beauty favourites and things like that so let's just get started so the first favourite I have are these two, these, this pair of flip flops. Um, I like wearing flip flops in the summer because my feet get very, very hot and sweaty. I know that's probably a bit TMI, but they do. I tend to get very, very sweaty and clammy feet. Um, and so flip flops are really nice. Also, I have really long toes, so they're really comfortable. These pair of them accessories and they're so comfortable because it's made out of material and they're a little bit flexible. On these so much because they're so comfortable. Um, then I have this bandeau top from New Look. Is it the right way up? No. Um, which I've been wearing under shirts like the one I'm wearing because it's got low sides. Um, or, or like tops that come down low, low cut tops. And tucking in under high waisted shirt, wearing a bandeau and a low cut top. And this is the bandeau I've been wearing, so I've been wearing this one. Then I have this pair of high-waisted white shorts. Yes, they are white as well. Um, these are cream matching, not white. So really, really useful. I've been wearing these either with tights when the weather's not as nice, or with or without tights when the weather's nicer, with a shirt a tank top tucked into them, wearing them high-waisted. And they've just been a really staple key thing in my summer dressy stuff so yeah i've been really liking wearing those and now on to skincare i i don't know if i t ever told you this but every so often i suffer from eczema in the summer well most years i suffer from eczema in the summer and this year i've suffered a tiny bit but not too much and when i did though i used itch relief cream from e45 um this is just the best thing ever if you suffer from eczema. Put it on straight away as soon as you get itchy and it helps heal your eczema and it helps it stop itching which makes it worse usually if you itch your eczema. Um, so it's a really amazing product and it actually works which is like a first because I've never managed to find a product that works before and this one does. So kudos to you itch relief cream. Um, I then have a shower gel favourite because I've been using this in the shower. You're probably like, you've been using that for how long? I've been using this for two months. Um, and, but half the time I forget to take it in the shower. I've probably had like 20 showers on this one. Um, and I've been in Cornwall for a week so I didn't use it then. But, but not even two months, like a month and a half I've been using this. Um, and I've probably had 20 showers, you do not need much. It smells really good. This is the Impulse Be Mine body, body um, shower gel. Smells really good. Just smells really good. Um, no, it smells really good. Um, it's really moisturising. And it washes you. What more could you ask for? Now, as you can probably tell, I've broken out on my chin. Um, quite a bit this month and I had a nuts break out on my forehead as well which is starting to calm down at, towards the end of the month um, and so I started using this on it this is the Doctor um, which hazel extract thing 
you would have seen this in my skin coverage and if you have watched that if you want to watch it I'll link it in the below bar um, but I've been really just putting this on my skin and it's been helping it's probably a non favourite because I wish I didn't have to apply this to my skin but I do so it has to be like in my favourites I guess um, I don't know if you guys saw my haul why a while back um, this was in it. This is the um, Ralph Lauren uh, for women, uh, big pony collection for women in the scent number one. Um, I've been really liking this so much. Um, it just smells really nice. We're on the topic of kind of care for different bits of skin and stuff. I'm going to show you my favourite lip balm. Um, this is the Body Shop Vitamin E lip balm. There's no point in me like focusing it up close because you won't be able to see because the packaging is rubbed off. Um, but as you might or may or may not be able to tell, I've used up so much of it. But it's really, it's not oily, but it's moisturising. It's not too thick, but it stays on for a long time. And it makes your lips really moisturised. I have it on right now, even though I applied it properly like half an hour ago I can still feel my lips being moisturised by it but it's not in an annoying way it soaks into your lips nicely it's just a really really nice lip balm it's the best lip balm ever still on the topic of lip balms and the body shop um, I've been really liking this Born Lippy in Watermelon from the body shop um, it is smells so good um, it just smells really really nice and fruity and yummy and it's really moisturising but it adds just the right amount of like peachy kind of colour to your skin. Um, you won't be able to tell really it's there but it just gives a really nice peachy shine to your lips um, and adds a little bit of colour to the face I've been really into using that. I've also been enjoying using Revlon lip products, um, I have two. I have been enjoying using the Revlon lip butters. Um, this one is in the colour Strawberry Shortcake. Yeah. Um, and it's a really pretty um, bright light Barbie pink, if you can see that. Um, it's just a really pretty colour and I really love this and these are amazing. I have two more but this is the one that I've been wearing the most. I've also been loving my Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stain in Cherish, Cherish, which is a really bright again, slightly even lighter pink, which is just swap there, swatch there, not swap. Watch there, so I'm gonna have to hide this up because I haven't got much time left. So I really, really, really enjoying that product. Um, I've also been really enjoying my NYX blusher in uh, Mocha, um, which looks like this. This is such a soft blush, and it's so pigmented, but it blends out really nicely here. Um, and it just looks really lovely and natural on your skin, so I've been really enjoying that. Um, I've also been enjoying my Rimmel Sun Shimmer Bronzing Pad, because this is a, like the only bronzer that I can wear on a daily basis where I don't want to look like completely contoured or bronzed up. I mean, I can use other ones, but this one's the lightest and most natural, because it's a really light bronzer. This is in light matte, and it is really nice and light, so if you're pale skin, this is the bronzer to get, guys. Um... With those, I've been really liking my e.l.f. complexion brush to apply it because it's just a really nice shape for that. Um, it goes into the contour really nicely. It also applies blush lovely and highlight. So it works three different products and it's only three to three fifty, which is a really good price. So I'm loving that. Um, for concealer for like non-coloured face stuff, I've actually got three a little concealer trio type thing. I've been using the Garnier Roll-On and I put that on first to brighten up my eyes. Then I used the 
Match Perfection by Rimmel, I put this on to cancel out the dark circles. And then I've been using the Mineral Blue Blemish Powder from e.l.f. to set it and just add a little extra brightness. Works really nicely these products together. I feel like this really cools and soothes my eyes um, and makes them up in the morning and like reduces bags as well as lightens them and then this just cancels it out so I get bright, light, no dark circles and it stays on all day because I set it. Um, quickly for eye shadows slash eye product I've been really enjoying the false lash effect fusion mascara from um, volume and length from Max Factor because the brush is really nice and it just it makes my lashes look good. It's all it just makes my lashes look really good. Um, the colour tattoo 24 hour by Eye Studio from Maybelline um, in the colour permanent tape because you can just put this on your lids with a bit of mascara and just go and it looks really nice together. My next number eyeshadow milk pencil and milk just because this is a really great everyday it uh, just to uh, brighten up the eyes and make you look more awake before you put on eyeshadow. And I took my two MAC eyeshadows because I use these all the time and to create looks, not only natural looks, Mylar, which is just a light off white colour and um orb which is a slightly darker but lighter than skin tone colour or skin tone colour um I'm gonna have to go because I have like seven seconds left so I'm just gonna quickly sign off these are my new glasses hope you like them and hope you enjoyed the video